Good evening. It's so good to see you all here. Welcome to Shipwrecked, our de deserted island here in uh, First Presbyterian Church. We have been spending a lot of time on the uh, deserted island this week and finding out lots of different things about Jesus and about God and singing all kinds of songs. We've just had a blast. Did you guys have a blast this week? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Very good. Well, we're so glad that you all could come to hear and see all of the different things that the kids have learned. They're going to tell you a little bit about um, some of the things that they've learned in between our songs. And um, we're also going to have a couple of our sixth graders do that for us, tell you um, what they've learned so far. A um, couple of things that your kids have um, been experiencing this week. First off, um, they're going to come home tonight um, with several items that they've been using all week. Number one um, is a castaway logbook. And there's, this is a book that they received um, at the beginning of the week. And they've been using it in a station um, each day that they've been here. There's also stories in here that would be great for you to read with your family. And there's also a letter to the kids on page 10 from Jesus. So um, hopefully you'll have some fun with that with your kids. Also, can you guys hold up your blue bla bracelets? <laughs> it's okay if you have your blue bracelet on. Okay. <laughs> All right. The blue bracelet has something to do with... They're excited. Um, the blue bracelets have something to do with helping the kids to have a vision for God-like things and Christ-like things, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Also, um, one other thing that they have, does anybody have their Bible buddies handy out here? Uh, uh, let me see if I, oh, thank you, lifesaver. Um, they'll also get to take home, um, it's a keychain with tags on it, and each tag has the Bible buddy, you see them on the posters around the room, and then it has uh, the Bible point that kind of paraphrases what the scripture was about, and then on the back there will be a scripture, so they get to take home um, something, they can hang it on their backpack, and remember that if they're worried or anything like that at school, they can remember what they learned this summer. So we're so excited to get started and to um, have you all here to hear everything that we're doing. Pastor Terry is going to give us a prayer. All right, let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, a wonderful week here of VBS, uh, for a time of fun and fellowship together that we've been able to uh, sing songs, learn about how Jesus rescues us. We pray now that, that you, O oh Lord, would be with us as uh, we lift up the songs uh, that we sang this week, as well as some of the, the PowerPoints and Bible points that we learned as well. So, Lord, bless this evening together, and may all that we do bring glory to you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, Pastor Terry. Okay, we're ready to sing our first song for you. Everybody on your feet. This is called Never Let Go of Me.
Good job. Kids can sit down in your spots quietly. Monday's Bible point was when you're lonely, Jesus rescues. Monday's Bible verse was the Lord will be, hold me close, Psalms 27, 10. The Bible story was the parable of the lost coin and the parable of the prodigal son. We learned that when we're lonely or left out, Jesus rescues us by being our forever friend who loves and pursues us. We, are, we learned that we're never lo alone because Jesus knows our hearts, understands our hurts, and is always holding us close. All right, kids up for the next song. The next song is called Lighthouse. You probably know this one. In my wrestling, in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. Bible point uh, was when you're worried, Jesus rescues. Tuesday Bible verse was the Lord comes to the rescue each time from Psalms 34 chapter 19. Tuesday Bible story was the story of Mary and mother and how mother frets and complains. We learned that we should worry and all through Although he does rescue us by taking away our difficulties, but the promises to bear them uh, for us sh shows we sh don't have to. We don't have to. We learn to car to cast our cast our anxieties and Jesus resting resting in our power and call. Thank you. Okay, up on your feet again, we got another song. I am. There's 
no space that his love can't reach there's no place where we can't find peace there's no end to amazing grace take me in with your arms spread wide take me in like an orphan child never let go never leave my You can have a seat. All right. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is that the kids held up their blue bracelets. And what the company does with this program, we've used this program at our church for several years, is they try to get the kids not only to learn Bible stories, but they also try to teach them that they can have a vision to see the world differently. And so what we've been doing all week is trying to get the kids tuned into what we call God sightings. And what that would be could be anything, it could be something really big, like somebody um, helped somebody on the side of the road that had a car problem. Or it could be something as simple as somebody gave somebody a pat on the back when they were feeling low. And so the kids have been patching our um, torn up sail over here on the side with God sightings to help repair our sails so that we can get off the desert island. So, deserted island. So, um, we have a bunch of different ones up there, and in a little bit, I'm going to read a few to you. They are absolutely amazing for children to be able to come up with some of these things. It just almost brings you to tears sometimes to see how insightful they are. Um, during this song, our crew leaders are going to bring up the last God sighting for each of their crews. Each of the crew leaders had um, five or six students. Maybe as the week progressed, we had some more kids come, and so maybe some of them had about seven. But it was a pretty small group that they could discuss and talk about these things. So it's just one of the neatest parts, I think, of our whole, whole week is to get them to see through God's eyes and see things in a different way. So um, during this next song, um, uh, Ella's going to tell us a little bit about day three. Um, the next song, Crew Leaders, you can come up and bring those last ones up. Wednesday's Bible point was, when you struggle, Jesus rescues. Wednesday's Bible verse was, be still and know that I am God, Psalm 46, 10. When Wednesday's Bible story was about Jesus' friends trying to rescue him in the Garden of Gethsemane. We learned that struggles can tie us up into emotional knots. No matter what issues we are working through, Jesus saves us from our struggles by providing comfort, guidance, and assurance every step of, reassurance every step of the way. We don't have to face our struggles alone. Okay, next song, guys. We can go ahead and stand up. It's okay. This song's called A Million Reasons. 
for saving me. Thank you, God, for saving me. Rescue from the middle of the ocean deep. Rescue from the middle of the ocean deep. You set my feet on solid ground. You set my feet on solid ground. I once was lost, but Bible point was when you do wrong, Jesus rescues. Thursday's Bible verse was here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Thursday's Bible story was about Jesus welcoming the criminal next to him on the cross into eternal life with him in heaven. We learned that we all have our tempers, lied, said mean things, or disobeyed our parents, and broken rules. That leaves a wide distance between a holy and perfect God and us. We learned that our loving Heavenly Father desi desire a love, de desires a loving relationship with us and that God loves us so much that he sent, his, je sent Jesus to rescue us from our wrongdoings. All right, our next song is Won't Worry About a Thing. Go ahead and stand up.
I mentioned to you some of the things that um, the kids mentioned for God sightings. It was absolutely um, amazing. I'm just going to read a few of them to you. They would get together in a circle time in one of the stations toward the end of the end of the time, and they call it going knee to knee. And they would sit in their own little circle and talk about something that they saw, um, or maybe somebody did. And so here's a couple that I, I had seen earlier. One of them says here, and I won't say the person's name, it says, this girl saw three crosses at some restaurants she was at. And Brielle picked up my milk cup for me. And one of them said, a palm tree looks in the shape of a cross. And then one of them said, the window in the church was a God sighting. And someone said it was a God sighting for giving us the water to jump into during games. I tell you what, they love the water this week. So um, giving us great helpers to learn more about Jesus during VBS, helping clean up after supper, and we're thankful God gave us craft supplies to make cool crafts to bring home. And then there's one little guy in the preschool that said, whoa, that Jesus water is powerful. <laughs> they had an experiment where the water was red and uh, the teacher put in another solution and it made the water go clear and that it talked about Jesus washing our sins away and he was blown away obviously by that and then um, another one in the preschool said yay I gave Jesus two thumbs up he came in my heart and now I get to go to heaven now isn't that something for a preschooler so there's so many more. If you get an opportunity either tonight or if you're here on Sunday, we'll leave these things up so you can have a look at them. Your kids are absolutely amazing. So thanks for bringing them here. Here's day five. Tonight's Bible point was when you're powerless, Jesus rescues. Tonight's Bible verse was this is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead. Tonight's Bible story was about how Peter and John heal a lame man in the name of Jesus. We learned that sometimes we feel powerless, but we don't, ha we don't have control, are helpless, and incapable of helping solve so many of our problems. But because of Jesus, we have the ability to con comfort others and pray for others. In our weakness, God's strength can do powerful things. We learned that we have access to the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. The Holy Spirit is our power, given to us when we believe in and follow Jesus. Thank you. Um, we have a couple of thank yous and recognition. Um, I'm Rochelle jacobs -Mai. I don't think I mentioned that. And our, my co-director here is um, Chantry Dake. She's got a few things she's going to let you know. Okay, um, there are just so many people to thank for this week. Um, it's an amazing 
amazing group of kids that we had and a lot of incredible helpers to make us get all the way through the week safely and soundly. Uh, first off, I just wanted to go through um, the crew leaders and helpers and the sound people and the kitchen help. Everybody pretty much that has these gray and green shirts on, if you see somebody in passing, just thank them for putting in the time this week and helping the kids have a safe and fun week. Um, the kids, thank you guys for coming and having fun with us. I hope you guys learned a little bit or a lot about um, different God sightings and how, how you can watch for Jesus in your life. Um, and you parents, um, thanks for letting us spend the week with your kids, and hopefully they brought home some things that they've learned um, throughout the week. Um, in particularly, I'd like to thank the Jacobsma family. They have put a lot of work in um, decorations, and speaking of decorations, you guys should definitely head downstairs to the new basement. There's an elevator available for anybody who can't do the steps. Um, it's incredible down there. There's different, a couple different rooms in the hallway, and you guys should all check it out. Um, they've put in a lot of time, and... Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. So uh, I think that's all I have. Okay, yeah, why don't we just have all the staff with the stand-up that has helped throughout the week. Anybody who's here. You can see it takes a, an army. <laughs> okay. So, kids, I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you about the offering for tonight. Our mission for this week has been um, raising money to fill boxes for Operation Christmas Child. And most, many of you have probably heard of this. It's a program through Samaritan's Purse um, with Franklin Graham, who would be Billy Graham's son. He um, is in charge of that particular organization, and they also do survival um, and uh, response teams around the world for disasters. And um, this program has grown and grown and grown over the years because it's so much fun and brings so much joy to so many kids. They have a great video the kids got to watch about the kids getting their boxes. And tonight, well, you know what? I'm gonna go through from Monday. So if you look at the piles over there, on the piano. The first day, we had enough money for one box. And that is um, around $20. We brought in $27 for our first offering. We hadn't really said anything about what we were bringing offering for. The second day, which is amazing too, we went from one box to seven boxes. We had $147.17. The third day, Wednesday, we had $113, and that was about enough to make six boxes. Thursday was about the same. We had six boxes and it was around $127. We kind of added a box um, and made it kind of even out between the two days. And then today, are you hearing me kids? Today, you brought $240 for 12 boxes in one day. So good job. <laughs> <laughs> so what the total I think they're excited about that <laughs> okay we're not we're not quite finished so well let's try and be quiet one more time okay Shh. remember to do your job remember your job when you're in a big group do your job Okay, great. We talked about doing your own job. If you're quiet just for yourself, then everybody's quiet. So that's what I mean by the job. So um, total amount of money was $654.17, and we have enough for 32 boxes. And what will happen is in Logos or on the Wednesday night program, the kids will come in and we'll choose a night and we'll have, um, or another night, I'm not sure. I haven't I don't think we have a Logos director yet, by the way, if anybody wants to do that. <laughs> um, I, we um, have our Wednesday night program, and um, they'll come together, and we'll sing some Bible school songs and kind of have a little reunion, and we'll pack the boxes together and have some snacks and things. It should be a fun time. So kids, you can, you can uh, be looking for that, too, about late October, November. We'll all get back together, sing some songs, and put those boxes together, all the toys and toothbrushes and everything else that goes in them. So... Um, 
And then the last thing is just a few announcements. Um, this week has been amazing, and I know um, we did a little bit something different with dismissing the kids just for their safety and for you to be able to find your kids a little quicker. Um, we're going to do the same thing tonight. The kids have crafts and things on the table where they're supposed to meet to be picked up by parents, and so um, we're going to sing one last song, and um, everybody's going to do it, and we want you to stand up and do it. Now, I mean everybody, so don't be embarrassed. You can just Raise your hands, move your hands around, and then we'll have the kids go out first. And once they're all out, then you can file out. We'll, Kelly? Oh, yes. Um, and the other thing, you can stand up, but I have one more announcement, guys. <laughs> um, on Sunday, this week, at worship service, all of the kids are welcome to come and sing, sing at the worship service. We have about two or three songs that we'll be singing for the congregation. We would love to have you worship with us on Sunday. So um, they can wear their shirts and come and sing, and um, hopefully we'll see a lot of you there. I think, I think that's it. Pastor, would you, um, do you, do you want to, do you want to do the video, right? Okay, we'll do that before we say the prayer. You know what? You get to sit down again. We have a slideshow. I didn't put that on my list because it was one of the things we were working on. So, And um, this is just pictures from the week. To sing a brand new song You opened up my eyes to see You rescued me Rescued me You showed the way when there was no way out Cleared up my mind when you erased all doubt You made me strong when I was weak You rescued me Rescued me
Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. Um, Shan, sure you come here a second. Um, I would just like to also thank Shan, She told me, she told me when we started this, she said, when I said I'd be assistant, I didn't realize it meant being a co-director the next year. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, honey, that's how it works. <laughs> and so she's been such a great sport, and working together has been a lot of fun. So I want to thank you, too, for all your help and everything, too. So um, we are going to have a prayer, and then we're going to sing our last song. It's going to be our, our theme song. So um, Pastor Terry, would you please pray? All right, let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you for a great week of VBS. The weather cooperated, and uh, Lord, I think the, the children and everyone, even the adults, learned a lot about how you rescue us. Lord, we pray now as, the, as everyone goes their separate ways that, uh, Lord, we can take some of the lessons learned and apply them to our lives and know that, uh, Lord, we can turn to you whenever we're in need of help and that you will rescue us. Lord, we pray all this and ask your blessing on, on the closing and uh, to be with those who go our separate ways. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everybody on your feet. We're all going to sing. Let's join in. Okay, let's hear it, you guys.
when hope was all but gone A second chance to sing a brand new song You opened up my eyes to see You rescued me, rescued me to another song as the kids go out so we'll have the preschoolers go out first Kelly you can just play one of the songs for us thank you so much for coming <laughs>